What's up, y'all? I am Drew Landy. Welcome back to Liberty Flames. And today we kick off our season. A quick look at the depth chart. A lot of new faces this year starting. So number one, number one <laughs> Michael King. Terrence Burke is the backup. Um, junior Michael King. Um, Michael King, he's uh, more electric, faster, uh, same acceleration, uh, has a bigger arm, like plus five arm strength, same accuracy. Um, Burke technically has a little bit more like trucking and whatnot, but King has better carrying. He's like 80 something carrying, so he's the starter. Running back, Terrence Barber, backed up by Matt Hall, the junior, who will probably lead us uh, next year. Uh, we have a few freshman red shirts um, as well that won't really see the field too, too much. Fullback, fullback Brandon Garrett. Wide receiver, this is going to be a very interesting year. So yeah, Pedro Brooks, amazing, awesome. Roland Smith, red shirt freshman. Uh, the number two, number three, Michael Thomas Jr. And then sophomore Chuck Cox. And then uh, red shirt fresh, uh, red, yeah, red shirt freshman, William Williams. What a name. With Norman being the number six. Speaking of tight end, tight end, Kyle Norman. Blocking tight end. Very good at blocking. So we should be uh, seeing increased uh, on the ground. But we'll see. Uh, Skylar Bellamy, a red shirt sophomore. And don't forget, we red shirted our like Gronk 6'7, 250 something. Um, guys, so anyway, he's he's a, a red shirt. Uh, Freddie Russ is the number three tight end. Hopefully, we don't have to use him too too much. Uh, left tackle Ryan Jones, the senior. Mike Sledge will step in next year. We really need to step up. Uh, John Bradley, preseason All American, wild uh, at guard, center uh, Randolph with uh, Freddie Rust backing him up. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a battle. They, he, they may be brought up. Jeremy Smith, right guard, sophomore. Right tackle, Tom Swain, the redshirt sophomore, 6'6", 276. He's a big boy, has some potential for sure. Left end, Joe Harrell, played great last year. Uh, also, Tyler Smith, uh, we'll, we'll see him uh, pop in and out uh, as well. Really good, Ronnie Stevenson, Tyler Smith, really like them. Right end, JT Moore, Tyler Smith uh, also there. And actually, you know what? We're actually going to put Tyler Smith in there. JT Moore will be uh, the backup. Wow, really fast for him. Defensive end. Uh, D tackle Max Bowser. We redshirted him last year as a senior, I guess, technically. So very interesting. Uh, Tyler Smith in there, along with Matt Black, Ronnie Jacob, uh, Ronnie Stevenson, and Xavier Jacobs. Left outside linebacker Anthony Joseph. Okay, Tyler Smith is backing him up apparently as well. Uh, middle linebacker would be Joel McKinney. I uh, remember we moved him over. Um, didn't really do much in his uh, in his career, but there he is now. Um, Chris Matthews will be the. Where is he? There you go. I don't know why Tyler Smith and Stevenson are everywhere. Uh, right outside linebacker, Chris Verwarda. Um, yeah, linebacker, not the best for us. Quarterbacks, not bad. John Moore, uh, All American. Cole Wilson is the senior. Uh, this will be his final year with us. Jeremy Cody, preseason All American for the sophomore. Wow. And why in the world is Michael King listed as a cornerback? Doesn't make any sense to me. It's gonna be uh, Mooney, and then Adam Foster be the, 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 the that, that that's wild. Anyway, Joe, why is why is Joe Davis Michael King? Why? Jeremy Cody can be the backup. I'm I'm fine with that. Strong safety, Ford Foster, Jeremy Cody. So it should be kicker, senior Chris Ray. We're in the process of recruiting our uh, next kicker, punter Ian Purcell. Um, whatever, kick returner. It is going to be Terrence Barber. I, I changed it on purpose. It is going to be Terrence Barber. We're, we want him all over the field. Um, he won't be as much of a like power back like Danny Harris was, um, just because we don't need him to be that. So, um, Danny Harris is very much grind between the tackles, so he could get 20 carries in a game. Where I really don't think that's going to be Terrence Barber. He's more like in the 15 range. Uh, but you can see 80 overall, 91 offense, 87 defense. Uh, we dropped a little bit. Uh, we dropped a little bit, um, which is to be expected. We have a huge. We had a huge run last year. A ton of seniors, and uh, interesting to see. You know, the next this year, um, let's see where we stand. We moved to the SEC. Wake Forest was one of our opponents last year, I believe. We obviously we beat them. Um, so we'll see. It's gonna be a good game today. Michael King, new quarterback. We haven't had a new quarterback since we had what Scott Calvert. And Mason Cunningham, remember them? Remember them? They were not 
awful. Those were not good. There's our top players. Um, it's going to be interesting couple of years. Um, our here, their top players. I don't know. Great running back. Not what I want to see. A torn groin. That is that is rough. Uh, so we should take the uh, victory today. Good warm up game, and then we jump right into like really difficult games. Uh, versus SEC, every team's going to be 90s. Um, we're actually probably one of, if not the lowest rated team, and all the SEC. So um, this year we're racing our recruiting class already is great. We have multiple five stars. So we want that to continue. And uh, here we are. We get to start off at home. Uh, it's going to be uh, a great season. I think this is one of those, hey, we took three steps forward, one step back. This might be the one step back. There's Michael King. Oh, he's got the gloves on. I didn't even realize that. I love it, though. He's number 10. There's the captains, Wilson and Norman. I'm surprised Terrence Barber is not one of the captains. Um, they will kick. Oh, we get to start on offense. And I'm excited for our offense this year. It's going to be probably the most dynamic it's ever been in terms of the variety because I just want to see what Michael King can do, okay? And y'all know what Terrence Barber can do. He can... Ch oh, he almost couldn't... You could not turn the corner. But he's our number one running back this year. Uh, we're going to see a lot of read options, um, a lot of rollouts into to running. There's Michael King, number 10. We do not have Corey Deitches, who we will miss quite a lot. And wow. Oh my goodness, that guy came he was shot out of a cannon. Michael King, first play gets five. We will see that a lot this year. We'll see that a lot this year. I didn't even look deep to see if anyone was open. Um, but this is definitely the strongest arm um, we've had in the series. 90 something throw power as a junior, so he still has one more year. And this is a very interesting layout by them. If we have open space here. We can hit a lot more home runs. He has over 90 speed, which for a quarterback is insane. So for Michael King, he's I'm ready for him to show out and dominate. All right, if, if not this year, definitely next year. King, play action fake. Oh, he's got Norman. The bullet is too high, is too high. That is one thing we might miss from Tom Smith is the accuracy. And interestingly enough, the accuracy between King and all the other quarterbacks. King and Burke, I believe, are tied for the highest. All right, back to throw. Terrence Barber used to receiving the ball, but cannot break free. Loses one. We really need Terrence Barber to stay healthy. We do have uh, Matt Hall uh, as the backup running back. Who's okay. He's about 88 overall. I'm actually, actually, I'm thinking about it. It's actually not that bad at all. And Terrence Burke is in already. And he gets absolutely drilled. So Michael King must have got injured on that screen pass. I didn't even realize that. It's, it's starting already. <laughs> it's been three, four plays. What is going on? Here's a punt by Purcell. Great punt. Really good punt. He's going to let it go. Inside the 20. Great punt by Ian Purcell. Flipping the field. It's like a 40-something yard punt. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Um, our defense is very young. Um, I like our secondary. Usually where our secondary has been our weakness. I think it's our strength today. And look at this rush. Ray Porter loses two. Joel McKinney in on the stop. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know how our defense will be. It's, it is very fast. Um, I'm, in, I'm interested to see how our safeties, how many steps forward that they've taken. The outside, TJ4 can't bring him down. And we're going to block him in the back here. But Wilson able to bring him down. Only gets four. Brings up third down and eight. Who's number 66? He's huge. Hey, we're going to do a zone blitz here. We're going to pinch the line, spread the linebackers. Just for Warder. McKinney on the. <laughs> How they, they they throw it just in time. Just in time. McKinney was there, put the hit on the quarterback. Did not matter. Alright, we're gonna show blitz here. We won't blitz, but we're gonna show it. Yeah, I'm gonna take Joseph here. And first down. First down. 
Yeah, as good as our team was last year, I really do think we've taken a, sm a small step back. Uh, we lost, like I said, we lost a ton um, of players last year, high-end players, um, more so on offense, but on defense too. I mean, Ethan West, our entire linebacking core this year is different. Uh, like three out of the four defensive linemen are, diff are different. Really, Max Bowser, we redshirted him, so we had somebody for this uh, this season. And we have injuries. What's going on here? What's going on? Here? All right, let's do like a, a big blitz here, man blitz. This is what kind of worked for us more last, more so last year. Here comes the rush. He says he throws incomplete. Big rush there. That's Tyler Smith, the sophomore. I believe he's a red shirt sophomore as well. Third and four. I'm gonna guess pass here. Shift to the right. I'm gonna take Joel McKinney. Oh, it's a screen pass. McKinney, the only one out there, able to bring him down. Fourth down, and they will have to punt. Joel McKinney, the senior, played great on special teams last year, and I made a great play there on defense. Hopefully, he can continue to do that uh, week in and week out. Remains to be seen. Here's the punt to Barber. Ever so dangerous. And oh, I thought he was going to get that block. He just ran into him and just let him go, apparently. He makes that block. That's like a 20, 30-yard return, without a doubt. But did not. Did not. All right, Michael came back in. Back to throw. He's going deep to Pedro Brooks. He's open. Got it. First down. Gain of 36. I hope we see a lot more of that all season long, especially now that we can throw that far. Um, I like having a big armed quarterback. I believe it's 91, maybe 92 arm strength. The choice in the grand scheme isn't the best. Oh, Terrence Barber straight up the middle. Our running game this year is going to be interesting. I'm not, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Uh, there's a part of me that thinks it'll be. Oh, it's not going to be as good as last year. Danny Harris, one of the greatest running backs of all time in Liberty history. Oh, hold on. Just, oh, just block for me. I have a touchdown. Uh, Michael Thomas was streaking down. I didn't even have a chance to push. I barely had a chance to push the buttons. Like right there, I had control and sack. Because Terrence Barber is doing who knows what. Kill, kill, kill. Um, hold on. I'm going to send. Oh, chill, chill. Is he able to beat him off the line? He is not. Quick throw. Chuck Cox. All right, we picked up some of the yards we lost. Actually, all of them. They're down 10. And Chuck is a sophomore or junior. It's great to, to have him on the team still. Uh, Michael Thomas is the number two. Uh, obviously, Pedro Brooks. What I'm watching here. Michael King. I love the arm strength. Touchdown, Pedro Brooks. 33-yard scoring strike from Michael King. What a throw to Pedro Brooks. And yeah, Pedro Brooks has played well. It was v extremely quiet last year. Um, really did not play as as well as I thought he would. Didn't get open. Uh, but so far, two huge catches. Two catches for like 60 yards. And a touchdown gives Liberty the lead. And we're winding down here in the first quarter. But we're up. That's what matters most. Oh, is it going to be for Warda? Is it going to be the guys running down? No. You always have the couple running backs. It was Bird Sale. I remember for a year or two. And then McKinney last year. McKinney. I always want to say McKinley. And it just it boggles my mind. All right. And McKinney's now the middle linebacker. I can't believe it. Oh, cut up the middle. I was not ready for that. And massive stiff arm. Davis able to wrap him up at the 40. And Ray Porter gets 14. I believe he's their best player. And the way he was copying, it was almost like it was a uh, penalty, but not quite. You know, I'm going to take Mooney here. Kind of go. Oh, they're ready for it. How? Don't stop running. And John Moore, the only person that can save the touchdown, and he does at the six-yard line, but a 55-yard catch and run by Steve Vincent. Uh, I tried to adjust to him and make the interception tackle all that. 
just did not work. <laughs> did not work. I'm actually going to take Joe Davis here. Up the middle, and the safeties are there. Tom Ford and Joe Davis up there to make the stop, and they lose, what, three yards? Two to three yards there. Second down and goal. Great play. Great play by the defense. I'll take Joe Davis again. He's going to guard this right side. Well, they are really committing to the run here. And they're going to get three there. I'm okay with that. Third down and goal. Can we stop them? Can we stop them? Brick wall. <laughs> Let's see what they come out in. Okay. We're going to spread everybody. I'm actually going to just kind of roam this, this side here. Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's an option, but we got him. Chris Warda on the option. They had nowhere to go. We had everything locked up. And we hold. So the tackle by John Moore saving the touchdown really did save a touchdown. As Wake Forest has to take a field goal here. It is up, and it is good. 18 seconds to go here in the first quarter. And again, that's been very interesting. De the defense has played, for the most part, pretty well. Other than that one huge 55-yard gain. Terrence Barber, all right. Now, this is where he is very dangerous. He gets a lot of speed built up. This is why. Terrence Barber, one guy to beat. He's going to swerve inside. Makes him miss. Makes another man dive and miss. Touchdown, Terrence Barber, the greatest return man of all time. Terrence Barber, amazing, amazing. I don't even know how many kick return for touchdowns he's had. It's got to be in the double digits, right? It's got to be. There's no way it's not. And another touchback. How many touchbacks do we have on kickoffs? Nothing since um, Aiden Alves. But, um, hey, our kicker's decent now. Maybe. Maybe. And they're going to go, wow, five wide. Or four wide and a tight end. And a quick chop block. They get nine. And that's how the first quarter is going to come to an end. But it's 14 to 3 Liberty. And special teams playing well, coming into uh, as a factor. Hey, it saved us first. Was it UNC? Where the offense and defense was kind of okay, but we had, what, two return touchdowns? And some great punting by Ian Purcell. And, oh, run to the right side. Joe Davis is there. But not before Ray Porter picks up four. And Porter has had a couple of great carries, but then also a couple of uh, not-so-great carries. All right, first and ten, first and ten. I'm going to pinch, pinch the line. I'm actually going to bring Tom Ford up here. Yep, run to the right. And, wow, good hit on the outside there, but not before he picks up six. And Wake Forest so far seems to have their way until they step into Liberty Territory. Alright, we're gonna pinch pretty much everything. I'm gonna take Davis. Oh, oh wow, got me so bad. And oh I tripped over my own guy. Oh boy, he trips him. Yes, finally. We're not the only ones that get shoestring tackled. And yeah, that's the best run of the day so far. He got me so bad. I thought he was going up the middle. I sprinted to try to get there and did not work. <sighs> I'm gonna take the fullback here. Yeah, they are definitely running the ball. Oh, misdirection. McKinney to get Bennett pushes him out of bounds. He's 10 yards, second down inches. And I, I don't know what to do different. I'm actually going to spread the defensive line and pinch the linebackers. Try to set the edge more and force him in the middle into traffic. And don't even need to do that because... And good tackle. Gets the first down. Needed an inch. Got a yard. First and ten. Joe Muhammad has played very well so far. Let's go with the zone blitz. Why not? Why not? I'm actually going to have Joe Harrell rush in. I will take Joseph here and play some D. Play action fake. Oh, and we're, and we're there, but we could not make the play. And no one can make a tackle? And touchdown, Wake Forest. All right, let's see if Terrence Barber can give me give us another great return here. And this could be the same. Just on the right side now. Well, maybe not. Still a good return. Still a good return. There's 29 on that. 
And the offense will go back to work. I feel like we, we haven't really seen much of our offense other than that one drive. We'll start with the read option. We did this a lot with Tom Smith, and I expect to do it a whole lot with Michael King. Take advantage of his rushing prowess. Just like this, Michael King! This is why! Down the side, and one man can catch him, and he can't! Michael King, 10-5, touchdown! The electric quarterback takes it, what, 70-something yards to the end zone. We said it a couple times last year. Tom Smith, oh, if he had more speed, that might be a touchdown. We have that here. 90 plus speed, 90 plus throw power. This guy is insane. And we are just a quick scoring offense, which is great. Now, my problem is what happens if we don't get those big plays? Do we get shut down, slown down? I don't know. Um, because I don't know how we can uh, slowly attack the field. Our running game is not as powerful anymore. It's much more quick. So we'll see. We'll see. Receivers are not quite as good as they could be. And good coverage there by the kick team. Only 22-yard return. That's one thing that is much better. Because our kick coverage. I say that quite a bit. All right. First and 10. So I'm actually going to spread the defensive line. Pinch the linebackers. See if that makes a difference on the ground. Toss to the outside. And it does make a difference, but he breaks his tackle. Ray Porter only gets one, but that was like a 12-yard run. We had him uh, hit in the backfield, but broke a tackle. And yeah, we, we, we allow too many broken tackles. I'm just going to shift this to the right. That's going to be third down and three. Jamal Wilson on the catch. That, I'm okay. Wow, he really beat... Oh, nope. Not who I thought he beat. <laughs> Alright, third and three. We are going to blitz here. I'm going to go to the right. Let's see what... I'm just kind of watch what happens here. And off the back foot! Oh! Knocked down! Should have been picked. But incomplete. Number 40. I'm not quite sure who that is, to be honest. We have so many new players, and so many players are actually playing this year. But we got the knockdown. Yeah, who is who is number 40? Is that Mooney? Might be Mooney. Barber. On the return. Breaks a tackle. Cannot outrun the rest of the defenders. Uh, still gets 13. Wow, got 13 on that? I feel like he only got like 5. Alright. Yeah, we have the super fast... Yeah, it's true. We have Pedro Brooks... Barber and King. That is a scary offense. Oh, Kyle Norman wide open on the right side. Norman lowers the shoulder. First down. Not as fast as Corey Deitches, but bigger, stronger, and apparently can run over some defenders uh, like he showed uh, right there. Um, it's been a minute. Let's give uh, Terrence Barber a carry. Like I said, I don't expect to run as much as last year. Barber will still get his touches for sure. Um, a lot of screen passes. You know, we like to run. Oh, what a spin. Gets two on that. Yeah, 214, not terrible. Like I said, he's not going to be in the 20, 25 that Danny Harris was. He's in more in like the 15 range. Michael King will get a lot more carries. Um, more of a quick passing attack. Oh, I didn't know who was going to. This is Norman. First down. Let's go. I don't remember his catching stats, to be honest. I don't remember. Um, let's do a play action. Play action here. Down on left. Down on left. I should Brooks go deep here. I love just being able to send guys deep and know I have a quarterback that has the arm strength to, to get it to him. Uh, it was a... I didn't even realize I threw the ball. Big hit by Smith. That was a bad decision. I thought I was clicking the button, but apparently I was hitting A. <laughs> and nowhere, obviously nowhere near. I mean, I don't even know where A is. There's nobody around there. I am so confused. Did he get hit as he threw? I could have sworn I clicked it in to throw it away. All right, too late. And screen pass. Matt. Ugh. Push out of bounds, gets two. Matt Black was kind of there. Also, Matt Black, top five name. Other than William Williams. 
And keep running those screen passes. I dare you. It is going to come back to haunt you one of these times. Take Joe Harrell here. And Joseph on the stop. They lose two. Anthony Joseph on the tackle. Wow, what a play. Brings up third down and 10. I'm going to guess pass. Spread everybody out. I'm going to take... I'm actually going to take Joseph here and kind of guard this, this line over here. Oh, it's another screen pass. Joseph just trying to make something happen. And does. He brings him down. It's fourth down. They have to punt again. That's Ford pumping up his teammate. Hmm. This defense is going to be really good next year. I mean, it's good this year. But next year is going to be even better. I mean... Uh, John Moore is going to be older. The safeties are going to be uh, in the it's not even the 90s. And it can, it, is anyone going to block that one guy as Terrence Barber gets lit up? Just no blocking, apparently. All right, let's regroup. That was a bad, bad turnover. I'm st I was uh, like confused. I was like, I can't believe that happened. All right, first and 10. Watch him. Picture books on the outside. The guy's on an island. Oh, but great, great coverage. Oh, well, I got Terrence Barber here on the out. Drops the ball. Terrence. Terrence. What are you doing? What are you doing? You did that far too often last year. Kyle Norman. Oh my goodness, what a throw. Oh my goodness, Kyle Norman lowers the shoulder. Are you serious? Huge first down. And Michael King slanging it. It's funny, you don't realize how much arm strength is like a difference in this game until you have someone that can really throw it hard. I hit him on the seam there. Oh, I can. Chuck. First down to the 31. 20 on that. 134 to go here. Time is not an issue. Not an issue at all. King back to throw. Looking, looking. Nobody's open. I might have A here, but I'm actually going to take off and run. Because I can get a first down out of it. And we're already over 100 yards rushing. Michael King's over 100 yards rushing. Now we're, let's see. I'm watch Smith here. Let's see if he has, can get past. Well, he cannot. But we got this is William. Williams. Oh, steps out of bounds as he's about to make a move. First down and goal. Uh, 110 to go. That's fine. That's fine. We'll, we'll run right here. See uh, if Barber can be just as good of a uh, power back as Danny Harris was. Apparently he can. Uh, touchdown, Liberty. So big plays on that drive. Six plays just under 80 yards in under a minute. Um, our, our offense is dangerous. And our, uh, the, what is happening here? William Williams slows him down in a not good kick coverage. Marcus Bennett gets 55 on that. And just like that, Wake Forest, if they score here, they get the ball to start the second half. So let's say they score here, get the ball back to score again. They're down by four. So big defensive uh, stand play here, whatever you want to say. And it's wide open. Wide open. Big hit there uh, by Joe Davis. Which, we have another Joe, Joe Davis as a red shirt. Um, the wide receivers we brought in this year, the freshmen are very good. The athletes or whatever. Oh, wow, what, a, what, a, what a move by that tight end on Christopher Warda. I saw that and I was impressed. Okay. 48 seconds to go here. We're going to blitz and also press. Is that wise? No. But we're going to do it anyway. First and 10. And he throws it up incomplete. May have been a throwaway. So, a uh, stop here would be nice. Stop here would be very, very nice. And Blitz here. And McKinney all up in Ray Porter's face. Able to stop him after only a couple yards. That's great. Wow. Oh, oh, quick, quick snap. Not, I was not ready for that. <clears throat> I was still talking to y'all. Huge hit out of bounds by John Moore. And they are just 
hurrying up here. Trying to set up set up our defense. I'm Joseph. I'm 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 playing zone apparently. And throws it away incomplete. <clears throat> what was <clears throat> what is happening right now? Well, you have more total yards with a kick return for touchdown. <laughs> oh, it's a run up the middle of the porter. Does not go anywhere. We're gonna call timeout. Because we can score so fast. So let's keep trying. I also kind of want to see how... Like where we can kick a field goal from. Green 90. Muhammad's going to go down. He is sacked. What a play is. Matt Black on the rush, the hit, and the sack. He's a redshirt sophomore, I believe. Could be a junior, to be honest. Kick is up, and it is a good. All right, so 14 seconds to go. And we'll see. This is a good return here. And they decided they didn't want to block half the people. All right, 12 seconds to go. Most people just run the ball. I am not most people, so there. <laughs> Really, you just want me to run the ball? There we go. There we go. I just kind of want to see, hey, what's, uh... Pedro Brooks on the out. Gets quite a few yards on that play. And I know we could technically do... Let's do the four verts here. Three for 83. Only averaging 27 yards a catch. Here comes the rush. Here's Barber. Who's going to be ooh, hit hard out of bounds. We call timeout. We are in Hail Mary range. I just want to try this double post. And send whoever is out there on the right. Oh, it's uh, Pedro Brooks. Here comes the rush. We're going to take off and run. We got lots of space here. Michael King. Oh, I thought maybe he could outrun him to the corner. But not quite. So, big play there to end the, the first half. 28-13. Uh, Could have launched it up. It's fine. Wake Forest gets the ball to start the second half. So, now if they go drive down, kick a, or score a touchdown, it's a one-score game. So, we got to watch out. Be careful. We can't allow Wake Forest to get in this game whatsoever. We don't want to start now. All right, oh yeah, we'll take... Tom Ford, here's the throw. The outside, Joe Davis is there, brings him down. Only a one yard catch for Jamal Wilson. Great play by the sophomore safety. Yeah, Jeremy Cody blitzing in. The preseason All American, Jeremy Cody. Um, the blitz, he has to throw it away. And is that behind the line of scrimmage? No? Or uh, uh, behind, you know what I mean? Behind the, the running back, like where it should have been like a fumble. I am I am very confident that should have been. Anyways, third down nine. And Tyler Smith oh throws off a man who hits on Muhammad, but wide open is Vincent. Oh my goodness. What a throw by the quarterback. Hung in there. Tyler Smith also with like the club move. What a dot. What a dot. Just great throw. And again, we can only block for so long. All right, we're gonna we're gonna show blitz here. Actually, I want Ford to come in. And big hit by McKinney and others brings up second down and one. Man, blitz here. Or not it's not a blitz, but press here. Pinch the line. Pinch the linebackers. I'm actually, have for water come out here. I'm gonna take him. Oh, I was trying to cover two people at once and didn't commit to either one and caught in no man's land. First down. Yeah, just our defense cannot. Can I really, we need to go to a, was it uh, like four, three, five or whatever. Oh, Porter, but he has stopped. What a play. Defense is playing amazing so far today. 
I guess against the run, they have a lot of few big runs. Um, but not there. Wow, great play. Great play by the defensive back. Hold him up just long enough for all his friends to get there. I'm going to take for water here. And I'm going to guess pass. He's going to watch the quarterback who hasn't really shown any threat to run. It's just wide open. Steps out of bounds, but man. Any out route, any like anything going to the flat. Oh, we're not going all out blitz. Two men under. I'm going to guess pass here. A field goal here doesn't do them much good. They're like just outside of field goal range. <sighs> I can only cover so many people. <sighs> like I took away a route that was going to be wide open. And just we're just getting beat by a little easy stuff. And it's super frustrating. Rush can't get there in time. <sighs> I just can't. I, you know, Max Bowser trying to blow up the, the game. Switch me to the guy that's right next to him to make a tackle, not the safety so far away. Switch me to Tyler Smith, please. Uh, has a lot of flips and twists. Things I can never, ever do. Um, Cody coming in. Uh, oh, it's going to be roughing the passer. I was it one of those where I dove and it like it kind of missed him, but I eventually landed near him and then he got tackled. First and goal. This is the absolute last thing we wanted. So I'm actually going to spread. They're going to be crashing in the middle. Wow! I blitz and there's no rush. Great coverage. On the blitz and close to a first down and down at the one yard line. Jamal Wilson, who's made some great catches today, moving the chains. Pinch, spread, and spread. Tom Ford. Quick throw, it slants. Go to his cross body across the field, touchdown. Adam Parks, wow, what a play. Great throw. I, I could not believe he made that throw. Okay. So, touchdown Wake Forest. Wow. 28 to 20. Like I said, this is the last thing that we, we really needed. That's why that last drive for them scoring before the half was very important. That we stopped them because four-point game if it's not. And this is almost the exact same position. We had the kick return for touchdown. Terrence Barber. Can you do it again? Push out of bounds at just a 49 yard line, 50 yard line, 54 yard return. Doing what he always does. All right, our offense back on the field for an actual drive, which feels like it's been forever since that. Comes a blitz quick throw out to, to Kyle Norman. Does not have the speed that Corey Dice just had. <laughs> Gets six on that. Eventually, we'll stop making references to, you know, old players that aren't with us anymore. Um, just after having those guys for three, most of them four years, kind of hard not to because it's a whole new team. Very thankful to have Terrence Barber this year. Yeah, it doesn't quite fall forward like Danny Harris did. That's okay. Uh, that's not his game. He's the best returner of all time. That's more than what we can ask for. Um, we probably should be killing the clock after this, to be honest, or around here. Barber up the middle, trying to eke and twist and body surf his way forward. It's four. Just some curls. Watch this left side here. Brooks is going deep over the middle. I should have Smith go deep as well. I know it's supposed to be curls. Can I hit that? Oh, I didn't see the other corner down there. Oh, that's, that's, that's terrible. I didn't see that. Either. It's my fault. I can't believe it. We are just letting Wake Forest just hang around. We're asking them to beat us. This is like us early in our career where we were getting beat by a lot. Got a couple lucky plays and other team let us hang around and we would win. 
other than the first season our first season was just absolutely terrible <laughs> so bad so bad wide 80 and you just no no pass rush wide open what a hit thomas ford but it's first down and just our, our defense can't do anything like nothing doesn't matter what we do doesn't matter how good the cover like our coverage is there's somebody open i don't know who's open here nobody nobody I and mean, it's not open they throw it away quickly and it's not intentional grounding somehow <sighs> getting frustrated on defense our defense is better than this i just don't understand why I guess pass here Well, what? And stuff like that. Our players don't react quickly when the ball is thrown right over their head. Their players do all the time. And it's super annoying. <sighs> so definitely some growing pains. And I'm just getting stuck. I love when I get stuck behind somebody. I try to come out of there. And I come flying past the running back. Just so fun. Flying past the hole. All right. And for what I just got absolutely pancaked. <clears throat> McKinney makes a tackle and it's a 21 yard rush. Well, Porter was very slow starting, but. Um, has killed us recently. It's first and goal. They are about to tie this game up. Which makes excuse me, makes me wonder would they go for two or would they wait? What? what was happening? Like the longest like play action fake I've ever seen. Held the ball down low like someone's gonna take it for like ten minutes and then just whips it and throws it away. It was a glitch, let's just be honest call it for what it is no I don't want thank you McKinney for water able to push him out of bounds gets one stepped out of bounds before he dove forward to the three so third down and goal oh holding them here would be huge would be huge <clears throat> I guess I'm, I'm gonna take this guy and just <clears throat> try guard this We stopped him. Let's go. I can only guard so many things for so long. And just like that, it's fourth down, and they will take the point. So the second time this game where they've been stopped at the goal line. Or a first and goal, third goal to go. Up is good. All right. Great defense. Is that the second or is that the third? Because the long was 25 yards, which is not long at all. Close game between LSU and Oklahoma. Here's the kick. All right, Barber already has one. He would love to have another. Like I said, he would love to have another. He would love to have another, as Oliver Twist says. Please, sir, can I have some more? Terrence Barber gives him more. Big news. Running back Ray Porter is out for the game with a concussion. Low-key, very, very important. Um, so they're going to their backup running back, which I believe is Bennett. Not nearly as dynamic as Porter was. We're up 35 to 23. We have uh, three offensive touchdowns. We have two kick return for touchdowns. Um, and the defense has bent but not broken. Um, we've forced three field goals in our zone. So shout out to them. Oh, right, it's the Bennett up the middle. Not expecting it at all. Big 17 yard rush by Marcus Bennett. And they're going to rely on him uh, these next several drives as they try to come back. Like I said, all they need to do is keep scoring touchdowns. Here's Bennett up the middle. And they keep switching me to, to, to not who I think they're going to switch me to. End of the third quarter. Uh, we are up by 12. 
Though this game has been much closer than the score says. Because uh, our, our defense just can't do anything to stop them. Like, they're just going down and scoring at will. And we're missing wide open tackles. Big hit by Joe Davis. Brings up third down and inches. And yeah, you you know we're blitzing here. Clog in the middle. We're gonna make him throw or run it around us. Muhammad looking for somebody. They're just they're just There's how how are they that open? Like he just has all day to throw. We blitzed. We blitzed and had nobody there. Do I need to take over here? Oh, oh, he got me there. He got me there. But we got him in the backfield. Let's go. Got nothing on the rush. Good play. Good play. John Moore with his sixth tackle. Are we back to this where it's not our defensive line or offense making the stop? Rodriguez, Joe Harrell on the tackle. Only gets three. It's going to be third down and seven. Now, they probably will go for for here on fourth down. Go for it here on fourth down. I'm actually going to stay back with for water. Just try to take away something. Oh, going to the left. A wide open. Joe Davis going to get there. He cannot. Fitzpatrick, huge first down. 38 yards. Found the soft spot in the zone. Cole Wilson let him go. Great throw. Honestly, great, great throw. Just over Joe Davis with 10 total tackles so far. Wow. So I'm going to spread. Pinch. Run to the right side, not to the left. Touchdown, Marcus Bennett. The guy we said wasn't going to be much of an issue. Touchdown, and they will take the extra point to be down by five. So this is usually where we say it's game over because we have Danny Harris. We don't. It's Terrence Barber. I'm a little nervous. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do. I mean, we've already had two. Can we have three? Have, have we done that before? Have we had three return touchdowns in a game from Terrence Barber? I'd love to start start that here. Oh, the worst one yet. And there's a penalty anyway. Uh, clipping, I'm assuming. Always. Always. All right. I'm I'm very confused at what, what to do. This has been like the longest game. <laughs> Whoa. Come on. So the read option. It's been a while since we've. I feel like it's been forever since we've been on offense because <laughs> we keep having all these return touchdowns. We never really had a chance to get into rhythm. Oh, if he just broke that, had a chance to go, but only uh, only gets only gets four. So and he's averaging five point eight a carry, which is not bad. Um, to Norman, stay inbounds. Oh, I love the power he brings. Let's go. First down. And I am going to start going to conserve. See if I can actually have this be the final. That'd be awesome. Have this be the final uh, drive of the game. All right. So the offense has been very underwhelming. Here's Matt Hall. Oh, my goodness. Gets destroyed. Matt Hall, I'm so sorry. Didn't know the guy was going to come over and try to end your life. But you got the first down. Excellent job. Excellent job. Michael King tries to cut back inside. Gets five. Still gets five. That's okay. He is set for 128. He may be our leading rusher. As long as he stays healthy, he may be our leading rusher this year. I'm watching Norman here for sure. See if he gets, see if he gets open down the field. Norman, he does. Big first down. We love our tight ends here at Liberty, whether it was all the way back to Zach Fouts, Dan Fouts' son. That's what we just said. He probably wasn't, but we just said it was. All right. I right, some Smith deep here just in case he beats. Go. William Williams, close to a first down. A plus name right there. So creative. Ah. Uh, I guess we're gonna screen here. Because they may blitz trying to hold us from getting the first down. Two minutes to go here. 
Terrence Barber on the screen. Danny Harris was so good with these. Apparently so is Terrence Barber. Puts the nail in the coffin. And we go up three score, uh, two scores, and pretty much lock this game up. Back on defense. We just need to finish games well. And good tackle by Cole Wilson. Only gets seven. They're gonna go into hurry up mode. Oh my goodness, that Titan got me. Uh, hello? <laughs> like went to tackle, he just like tackled air. Yeah, he got me so bad. I was like, oh, I got him going over the middle, sure. Not going over the middle. Um, we have a lot, a lot of first downs. <laughs> we haven't got to make first downs because we average like 12 yards per play. And they don't. We're not, well, we are allowing big plays. We're allowing, allowing huge, huge chunk plays. Sure, we'll, we'll blitz from the right side. Why not? Another first down. <laughs> Yikes. Our defensive stats are not going to look good. They are not going to look good. Hammerhead. They're just taking, really, taking what we're giving to them. Oh, my goodness. What a hit. They gave him the first down on that? What are these calls? Thanks for taking your time on that. So to the to the left, Jeremy Cody. Oh, oh could have, should have been caught. <laughs> Brought in for a touchdown, but incomplete. Great. Um, and yeah, let's. I'm gonna try to run some press here. Let's let's practice. See, like, cause I. If I remember right, our team was decent at press. I say that as um, Foster got burned. Touchdown. And it is a six-point game. So one minute to go. They're probably going to go onside here. Quarterback wants his 400 yards passing. Absolutely insane. And what I thought was going to be our strength was our pass defense. No. <laughs> it is not. So I'm assuming onside, yeah. 530 total yards. And here's a long kick return. Brandon Carrot. Good job, Brandon. All right. So we're up by five minutes ago. They have all three of their timeouts. Um, all right, Terrence Barber. Can you be a clock-killing machine? I would very much like you to. Up the middle. Gets four. Okay. Okay. So you can do here on second down. The middle barber lowers the shoulder, spins away, breaks free. There's Barber, 30, 25, 20, 15. <clears throat> Out of bounds at the 12. Technically not game over yet because they have two timeouts. Um, they'll have like five seconds left, but Barber up the middle, cuts it into the end zone, touchdown, puts another nail in the coffin. He has, what, four total touchdowns today? somewhere something like that but that is officially game they they cannot come back from this um game over let's go so maybe not game over massive return 61 yards um i'm glad we got that touchdown <laughs> uh maybe we should have just sat on it and killed the clock instead of going for the touchdown i i, I don't know i don't know all right, back to throw Muhammad. Just so, oh, just just catch the ball. As a it's a pick six. I would take pick six just because it's fun. So second down ten. Spread everybody. Like I said, guess pass. I'm just gonna take defensive lineman. Try to put pressure. Oh, they're gonna run and they lose the ball. And why did the clock stop? Is there a reason the clock stopped? What? Why did the clock stop? Man, good tackle. Fourth and two. Yeah, they have to hustle up and pretty much, to be honest, just throw it into the end zone. 
my goodness, I just whiff. 14 seconds to go. And, yeah. I mean, we can let him make all these underneath catches. And do it. Just thank you for just killing, killing the clock for us. My goodness, they scored. They did not score? How did they not score there? They're not calling timeout? Uh, this. I'm just going to blitz here. Because I'm getting sick and tired of them just being able to throw. He's going to be brought down and thrown around. He is sacked, and that's the game. That's how the game ends. <laughs> what a wild, insane game. We won 49-37. to 37. So, did we play well? Yes and no. Special teams came to say it's Michael King. 16-20, uh, 258, two touchdowns, um, two picks. Both of them obviously were my fault, not really his fault. Terrence Barber, 9 for 95 and two touchdowns. Of course, had that 45-yard touchdown. Michael King, 7 for 128. Uh, obviously had that 75-yard touchdown. That kind of helped um, his numbers, that's for sure. Uh, receiving the ball, Norman, 6 for 91. And then um, Terrence Barber. Um, did he have five touchdowns? Did he really have five? Three for 83 for a... Uh, Pedro Brooks. He had five touchdowns. That's insane. Uh, defense. Uh, Joel McKinney. Uh, 13 tackles. Um, absolutely insane. Davis with 11. Ford um, with uh, seven. Uh, one sack in the game. Two sacks. My Matt Black and Chris Mooney right there at the end. The uh, red shirt freshman. Uh, no picks. Uh, did we have a forced fumble? I think we did. Who did it? JT Moore. The senior and obviously two kick returns by Terrence Barber. Let's go to recruiting and see. Did we have any commits this week? Probably not, but let's see if we made some progress. All right, wildness. I said we probably won't have any commits, but we do. Austin Holland and Cindy Banks have committed to the team. Okay, that's fine with me. Also, looks like our defensive coordinator has an upgrade. He does. I don't remember our defense. What's his name? Sean Lewis, that's right. Uh, the greatest guy. Uh, pass block. Sure. Oh, that's offensive. <laughs> um, man, yes. Man coverage and plus four press. I uh, we will we will take that. We will take that. Our defense has not not been good. Now I'll be surprised if our offensive coordinator stays with us after this year. He's just really really good in my opinion. All right, let's take a look. We got two recruits. But our numbers, like our points, have not gone down. Uh, were they just like random people that went through? Maybe. Um, let's take a look. Austin Holland is a pocket packer, 6'5". Massive, massive guy. 83-2. All right, not crazy. Neither is this guy. Well, okay. Uh, running back, Mark Lane. Again, we don't really need, need him, you know? Uh, wide receiver Paul Workman. Again, we don't really need him. <laughs> um, I want to save. I want to save. I want to save. I want to save. I wanna save. Uh, tight end is the one we got. Sydney Banks, uh, which is great. No issue. Not really the greatest at any one thing. He's kind of an all around average, a below average player. Okay. Uh, offensive linemen. We do, we do kind of need them. Oh, we're on my 1500. I didn't realize we we're down by that much. Darn it. Um, guard, no. Wow, really good. Demons of End, Jermaine Oliver. It's been, a, it's been a minute since I've recorded, so I don't, I don't quite remember like who we were going after. Um, sure, Darnell Wagner. We do need some defensive linemen. I'll give the rest to him. Linebacker, Adam Richardson. We have the lead. Boy, he's an 80 overall? Yeah, he's nice. All right, I'm, I'm down to have him. I'm moving the middle linebacker, to be honest. Uh, Joe Williams. All right. Cornerback, Ray Patterson. Hold up. That's that's who we need to go after. Hold on. Who's the... the uh... Who is you? Who is you? Someone who we're not giving anything to. There we go. Yeah, we need to give him all, all the points we can muster. And sure, we'll give, we'll, we'll give, it, give it to him. Uh, how about kicker Tommy Jones? Not in the lead. Um, we do need to give him points, though. Andrew Gilman, again, pretty good. Yeah, these guys, yeah, Josh Allen, Brandon Johnson, two five-stars. Jerome Barrow, we are not in the lead. 
Um, what are you though? Like, are you something we actually need? Um, man coverage. Oh, yeah, we do need cornerbacks. <laughs> We do. Hey, that's it for today's episode. Uh, this, yeah, this is over an hour long, so I don't want to uh, long get this any longer than I need to. Hey, thank you all for watching. We have the Louisiana Tech next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe right down below. We're ranked number 12 this early. Um, so we should be able to win this game. But after this game, it'll be much tougher. So we're going to the SEC, and while their defense is not good, I'm expecting a lot of points uh, this game from our dynamic offense, which was able to score quickly. Um, but a little bit dangerous. We'll have to see how uh, we develop during the season. I am Drew Landy. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.